Hey guys, welcome back to Putting Up With The Pom Pons, a mother-daughter hair channel where we talk everything about our hair, from hair care, hair maintenance, hair products that we love to use, and the styles that we love to achieve here on our channel. I have my oldest daughter here, Kalia, where we are going to achieve these straight back cornrows for the summer, and we're gonna talk about the products we use to achieve this look. Let's get into it. So you know the drill, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. We would love to have you a part of our family. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, hope you are being safe and blessed as always. So let's go ahead and jump straight into Kalia Freshly Wash using the Soapbox Tea Tree Shampoo and Conditioner. And I'm going to be styling her hair into some braids slash using the banding method because I want to stretch her hair for this style and I didn't want to use heat because we used heat on her last protective style and I just kind of want to skip over it um, so I'm going in first with the design essentials almond and avocado and this is the leave-in conditioner god this product smells so freaking good and it definitely adds definition to her curls which is always what I'm looking for for any product that I use. Then I'm going in second with the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado. This is the Moisturizing Lotion. Now these products are meant for more of a wash and go rather than braid outs and twist outs. And I realized that after I had already started using them, so I just kept with it at this point. For my braid outs and my twist outs, I would rather use a heavier cream. And these are a lot more lightweight. So that's why I would recommend these products for wash and goes or or, you know a style and go rather than a braid out and a twist out because the cream is just not heavy enough for you to hold in that moisture that you love to see when you take your braids out um so that's what i pretty much experienced with the products and that's fine it's a live and learn situation now i know and i'm letting you know so you don't make the same mistakes so i'm going in with the banding method this method is very popular it has been around for a couple of years now probably even longer um but i I first seen it a couple of years ago where a little girl was doing it to stretch out her hair her this was her way of stretching her hair heatless and all you're doing is just taking some bands and just like rubber banding it down the shaft of her hair to help elongate her curls so um, about halfway through I switched it up and started doing braids because that band method was like it's so long and I was also curious to see would I achieve the same effect just doing a simple braid out or would the banding method be better so we're gonna get into that later in the video so here I'm just using these um, hair ties that I purchased off of Amazon they have a plenty of stretch the only thing that I will say I don't like about them is they're not great longevity wise like once I use them once or twice they're kind of like stretched out and done for and I have to throw them away which isn't a big issue because they are super cheap and I love the colors so I can always like change up the styling with the girl's hair when it comes to colors and coordinating and all that stuff and it's better than using rubber bands because rubber bands are one and done anyway so at least I do get at least two or three uses out of these before they're completely stretched out and I have to throw them out so here I am just braiding her hair down and I'm still using those same two products by design essentials smells great again just not great for a twist out or a braid out go in with a heavier cream rather than a lightweight lotion so after our hair is completely braided, I had her wear these braids for three days. This is day three, okay? I had got busy and she was in the middle of doing karate and stuff. And this style just kind of worked for her at the moment. But I was like, okay, it's time. It's time for us to do something with this hair now. So as you can see, she is experiencing some frizz around her edges. But I do not gel down her edges every single day. Mm -mm. It's, it's just not, I'm not a fan of it. I don't even gel my own edges down every day. I'm not about to require my children to have their edges laid every time they step up out of the house they are children let them be children okay so i'm taking out all of her braids and then i'm going to go in with my tangle teaser brush to brush it all out because um i just want to see you know the difference between the braid out and the banding method and there was no difference <laughs> there was no difference. Once I kind of like brushed it out and you could see her full on afro, 
you really couldn't tell which side was braided out and which side was banded. Like, I mean, it definitely helped with stretching. It is a great alternative for doing a heatless, you know, stretch. She has now like this stretch look rather than a blown out look. If I would have used a blow dryer, it would definitely been straighter than that. But we had that length that we were looking for so I can do her cornrows. And as you can see there, yeah, you don't, you can't tell. You can't tell which side I braided and which side I banded. Homegirl just has so much hair. Oh my gosh, it's exhausting. So now we're gonna go into styling her hair. And for this one, I'm going straight down the middle. I always start in the middle anytime I'm doing like a straight back look. Make sure that my cornrows are gonna be straight, right? I suck. I absolutely suck at making straight parts and that's okay. I'm going in with the Shine Effects Conditioning Gel. I received this from the Magic Collection, BTL Collection. Love, love this conditioning gel. I've been using it for months on all of my girls, including myself. It smells good. Right now I'm using the one that smells like cucumber melon and they have a pink one that smells like sweet pea. Oh my God, the product smells so good. The hold is amazing and it works great whenever I'm trying to get straight clean parts. I always use this gel when I'm doing her straight clean parts. So we're gonna put one half of her head up and we're gonna start working on the other half. Now, once I've done that first initial straight back part in the middle the rest of the parts come so much more easier because now i can use that original part as my guide to make sure all of my cornrows are going to stay straight as we continue doing this style I'm now gonna start off braiding and I wanted these braids to be pretty small. Kalia has some thick hair and I have frail, frail petite fingers. They just can't handle all that hair. So doing these braids smaller definitely helps with me handling that hair, making sure that I keep my grip throughout the braid. Um, too much hair and my fingers start to cramp in. I start looking like, you know, I got dinosaur fingers going on. My carpet tunnels start to acting up. So small braids are definitely essential. Now I definitely had to take my time with this, but because her hair is not blown out, it's stretched out, it still has some kink to it. So so I found myself running into a lot of knots while I was doing these cornrows. Now teaching y'all how to cornrow, I'm sorry. I, I self-taught myself. I don't, I don't know how to teach anybody else. I'm so sorry. I wish I could like explain it. I'm not great with my words. I just know I'm not meant to be a public speaker. It's just not one of my fortes and I recognize that and that's okay. But we're gonna work this on down. So again, I'm taking my time because as you can see, I keep pausing to kind of like work out those knots that I keep creating. Um, and that's just gonna take patience, really. That's really all, it's gonna take a lot of patience. And I try to uh, detangle that knot um, with using just one hand so I don't let go of the braid with my other hand and lose my grip, cause that sucks. And then it starts looking a little janky and I have to do the braid all over again. So, you know, take your time take your time okay i am moving slow this video is sped up for you guys so y'all can kind of see but i promise you each braid took me anywhere from five to six minutes to complete okay this girl just has so much hair i don't know where she gets it from okay so i'm working my down my way down to the nape of her neck now kalia is very very sensitive at the nape of her neck with her hair and i am too anytime you get the tug in at that kitchen in the back honey i'm gonna start flinching and hold up wait a minute so i definitely make sure that my grip is not as strong as I do for the rest of her hair and if it is I kind of go back and loosen it up a little bit especially if I see she back there kind of tugging like mm -mm, mommy something ain't right back here so I always look for those signs to know is the tension too much for her if so I'm taking it out and redoing it we don't need any stress extra stress on the hair it's that that will cause more breakage all right, so now I'm moving on to the second half of her hair. Now, I forgot to mention that I went in with the Blue Magic Coconut Oil Grease. Honey, I grew up on this grease, all right? They went back and redid the formula to make it more, you know, modern, as well as taking out some of the bad products that we learned later were not good for our hair. And honey, 
it's been doing great. And the reason why I went in with it is because those two products that I used by Design Essentials, remember I mentioned before that the cream just was not there as far as moisturizing for a braid out or a twist out. So I just felt like her hair was a little dry. So after I did that first braid, I was like, baby girl, we gonna go back and, and add a little bit more moisture and some oil into this because I just did not like how rough her hair felt. And I feel like that also kind of contributed to me running into all these knots. Now the grease did help. I didn't run into as many knots and the ones that I did run into, I was was able to work out with my one hand. So I'm continuing down my method and again, we're just going straight back, but take your time take your time don't start ripping her hair out don't start ripping your hair out if you're doing this on yourself um as you're running into knots just be patient take your time now at this point my copper tunnel was definitely acting up my wrists were on fire my fingers are screaming please help us because they just could not handle all this hair so i did have to take a break and that is okay get you get you a nice little water break have a snack and then get back to it now I wanted to create this heart part on the side. Now I've been seeing this heart part all over my Instagram. And I finally was just like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. You know, I'm not, I, I find myself to be a pretty intermediate braider. I'm gonna try to achieve this myself, right? So what I did was make a square, square off like a section in the front. And then that section I'm going to divide in half vertically right down the middle. And then I'm going to put that other half up and we Gonna start working with that first half which is close to her face so with this half i'm going to do a nice little diagonal part at the top part of it and this is going to create our little heart where we start in the middle and come around and loop it around right okay so now doing these kind of designs i have to perform acrobatics to get it to work i don't know what it is i'm not one of those braiders where i can do a design and i'm standing in one spot the whole time okay i'm over here flipping around flipping you around twisting your head all kind of ways you're gonna look like you know an exorcist is going on right now but that's okay we still going to achieve the look and as you can see there's the first half of the heart so after i did that i was like okay that ain't bad let's go in with the, the second half again going in with that same method do a nice little diagonal part right there making sure that those points meet at the middle we don't want no crooked heart and then i'm just gonna come start at that centerpiece work my way around and braid it on down and then i'm going to meet at the end and combine the two braids together Now again, I'm an acrobatic braider. Like I told you, I'm gonna have you twisting your head all kind of ways so I can achieve this look because I gotta see what I'm doing. And you see me keep correcting Kalia head, like, honey, ho I need you to work with me. And I'm telling her that, look, I need you to work with me. Hold your head right here for like 10 seconds. Let me finish this braid, right? So once I got done with it, um, I don't even know if I liked it, y'all, to be honest with you. It just, it just, it won't, it won't give in. It won't give him what I thought it was supposed to give and I was a little upset about that. I don't know what it was. I'll try to revisit it and come back to it later. Um, but I didn't like it. I didn't even like it. And Kalia didn't even realize it was a heart braid until her grandma saw her hair. And was just like, oh my God, I love that heart on the side of your head. And Kalia like, what heart? And that kind of hurt my feelings because I was just like, you know, I was over here doing tricks for this damn braid and you trying to tell me you didn't realize it was a heart? Anyways, you know, moving on to the next. So ungrateful. So this is what we're looking like. A finished product. All of her braids are done. They look nice and neat. My parts are straight and I'm so proud of myself. I'm getting there, y'all. So I'm going in with the Black Seed Baby Grow and Glow Oil, honey. Mm love this oil okay i have been using it for at least a month and a half now on myself and the girls locks in the moisture i definitely don't have to go back and revisit their hair or their scalp to make sure that like their hair is not dry or anything like that it has been doing great for us. I'm then gonna go in with the BTL hair foam. I've been using this foam every time I do braids. It works more like a like spritz, but it's a foam because the hold it has on these braids when it comes to that frizz and flyaways, immaculate. I'm then gonna go in with this velvet uh, do-rag that I used to wear back when I was a baldy babe. And I'm tying it down and this is gonna help just lay everything down as that foam dries. And now we're gonna go in with some hair beads for the in see these from btl as well the same people who send me my shine effects conditioning gel and they sent me in several colors and i have been loving them they're like
like the perfect size. I love the weight on them and they're, they're just so cute, right? So right here, I'm showing you guys how to hide that little end piece right there that's hanging out. A lot of people be like, gonna cut that off and I don't like that because sometimes I'll be cutting about two, three inches off, off of them baby's heads. Just pull it and thread it through the beads. That's all you have to do, right? clean look without cutting off them baby ends and here she is right here and i'm spinning her around so y'all can see the full effect and homegirl was over here trying to take over the show i was like bring your ass back over here so there we go y'all she's all done she wore this style for at least two weeks i did not go back and revisit her hair as far as like putting any more oil or anything like that because once it starts flaking and getting scaly it's just time for a wash day okay well thank you guys for joining us on another video we appreciate having y'all don't forget to check out our other hair tutorials that we have styled for the summer. You can also shop our Amazon storefront for the products used in this video. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.